Hey everyone, welcome back to the live cast stage here at the PlayStation Experience. I'm Meredith Molinari, joined by my good friend Ramon and Etienne Jacquemain of Breakpoint is here to talk to us about Tennis World Tour. Now, all the sports gaming fans out there have probably noticed there's not a lot of tennis games, especially for the PS4. So tell us a little bit about how this game came about. Well, it was um, two years ago we were uh, uh, discussing with my uh, uh, my friend, my business partner, and we were like, uh, there's no tennis game around, it. and uh, nobody seems to want to do one. So, um, in fact, we were uh, actually uh, on screen and just of, uh, the, the people who made Top Spin because uh, we worked with these guys in the past. So, uh, we 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 thought maybe we should do one uh, um, ourselves. So we called back our friends and we said, "Do you want to do a tennis game?" And they were like, "Yeah, great, absolutely." So we started working on the on a small prototype, and uh, we laid out. Um, uh, a, a game concept, and um, we uh, started to discuss uh, with uh, with several um, several publishers, and um, we uh, we um, uh, we saw the guys at Big Ben. They were uh, really excited with the project and uh, really supportive. They wanted to, to commit on a on a great game. They wanted to make something something huge and commit on quality. So uh, that's how it started. Nice. So would you say this is the spiritual successor to Top Spin? Yeah, something like that. Because um, we uh, we wanted to make um, uh, a, a true simulation game. We uh, uh, we wanted to keep what was great about top spin, the mm -hmm. Top Spin series: the fact that it's uh, uh, a game about motion capture, um, uh, a very uh, accurate simulation with uh, uh, um, a great appeal to hardcore gamers. But um, also, we wanted to change uh, some th some of the things that we think would have evolved with time, because yeah. uh, a lot of time has uh, has passed since the uh, the, the last update. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah, it's been a while. Uh, been and, a and yeah, and you know, video games have evolved. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, we wanted to. Um, uh, to, to change the, the way the, the difficulty was set. Uh -huh. um, we wanted to, uh, to change, uh, to, to, to make the animation, to push the animation uh, a little bit further. So uh, we, we started to work on the, um, uh, uh, on the, on the animation because uh, it's, the, it's the key to making a, a great tennis game. It's ha how, it, how it looks and feels, uh, how the motions come out naturally or not. Uh, and so um, although we loved uh, the, the top spin game, we thought that uh, some of the movements were not exactly uh, real natural tennis movements because um, sometimes, and it, it, ha it happened in all the, the games uh, of this era, right? Uh, the, the movements were cut out a little bit um, like, like in video games. Uh, so you had uh, players waiting for the ball like this, doing <laughs> micro steps, which never really happens in, uh, in real life. So uh, we thought, what, how can we fix that? So we, uh, we worked with uh, real pro tennis players. Nice. Um, we, uh, we started working in, uh, uh, in a mocap uh, mo lab, and it didn't come out really well because they, they, they couldn't really play tennis. They were more playing mocap than tennis, you know, right? So uh, we, uh, at the end, we, um, we put them in, uh, uh, on a real play field, and we asked them, just play, play tennis with the real movements nice. and the, the whole panel of movements. So we recorded every uh, every move they could do, uh, with every distance, every uh, every context, wow. every type of uh, of swing, every ball height, and we uh, mocapped everything, and we created um, a kind of AI system that was able to. Uh, to sort it out and uh, find the right animation for the right context and blend them together. So it always feels like the, the, the movement is natural and uh, there's the, the, the preparation move uh, starts during the movement and uh, and you always keep the control during that time. So I almost am afraid to ask how long that whole process <laughs> took because <laughs> I know you work a lot in mocap and it's a it's a very long arduous research yeah. process yeah, before you can even get our team spent days. Well, it's days a, it, it's. Um, uh, more than six months of work to have nice. to have lot. the first uh, the, the first glimpse of the uh, of the game, you know. And before that, you work like dogs, but there's nothing <laughs> playable. There's nothing that feels or looks like like tennis. So it's uh, it's uh, you, you have you have to really trust yourself when you're doing that. <laughs> but uh, we we had um, uh, we're, we have a great team and. Uh, uh, we have people that are really committed to it and uh, great fans of tennis. They're, they're are they all really big tennis fans? Because I think that really helps yeah. when you're doing a sports game to like understand the mechanics of the sport that you're trying to yeah, you know, exactly. simulate in a video game. Mm, yeah, the, 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 the programmer is, um, is my business 
partner. He's a guy uh, who's been uh, in the industry for 30 years, and um, he he plays tennis a lot, uh, and he's really trying to find how the animation could be better, uh, how it fits with the the move, um, how you can keep control of the player, because that's also an issue in the in the um, in the sports game, right? If okay. uh, if, if the if the animation is uh, is very precise, but the, the the choice of animation is made too much in advance, then sometimes you get the feeling that you're not really not controlling really control, the player. Right. And uh, this happens a lot in, um, uh, in, in previous games, where sometimes you're asking the player to go left and it waits a little bit, and at some point he right, goes left. Stuck in animation, you got away from the branch. Yeah, that's it. So we, we really try to polish that and uh, make it uh, uh, feel natural, but also um, uh, keep the control at any time. Awesome. So you mentioned this is a true simulation yeah. tennis game. So what can we expect? Multiplayer-wise, um, can you tell us? Yeah, multiplayer. Well, we'll have the um, pretty much the same type of um, uh, of modes that uh, you had in Top Spin. Um, there's um, uh, a worldwide ranking and uh, ongoing uh, um, uh, challenges. Awesome. And there's there's also um, a, a bi-weekly challenge um, uh, where you can become num uh, number one, uh, world number one, uh, and you can also play with your friends. Uh, just pick up the pad and play. Nice. Now you mentioned that you had you know some real tennis players playing there for your mocap to do all your research. Mm -hmm. You can actually be some of those pros in this game. I read that you have over thirty different pro tennis players that yeah, you can exactly. actually play. Mm -hmm. yeah, can you share <laughs> any of those with us now today? Maybe? Yeah, one, that's maybe uh, one or two. Uh, you take one, one. One's good. A, a couple of them uh, uh, have already been uh, announced. We have Roger Federer, of course. Uh, okay. uh, we, we've got uh, guys that like um, uh, David Goffin, uh, Michael, um, uh, John Isner. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got girls. Uh, um, uh, like uh, we've got Garbini Muguruza, uh, we've got Angelique Kerber, and uh, also I'm happy here to uh, to reveal today that uh, we have uh, uh, Michael Mo um, uh, and um, Taylor Fritz, uh, and um, uh, and the sole one I can't remember. That's a, that's a <laughs> shame. But uh, uh, we've we've got five um, five US tennis players okay. and uh, and um, uh, men and women. Uh, we're gonna have a, a lot of variety. That's great. Now, would you say that this is a game more for people that are really like hardcore tennis fans, or if you're just like a casual sports gaming fan and you want to pick this up as a beginner, do you think they'll still have a good time? That's a great question. Uh, we we wanted to um, to make the game easier to pick up and play because that's also something uh, we uh, uh, well some players I know love it from top spin because th there's like hours of uh, of training before you can really master the game, but. Also, it's a bit frustrating because um, it, you have to really learn with your, your muscle memory how to when to press the button exactly if you want to, to catch the ball. It's um, uh, something we wanted to make easier. So it's not to say that the, the, the game is, uh, is, uh, uh, is easy because um, it, it is a, a real hardcore game with a lot of mechanics, with a lot of uh, tuning you can do on the character. Uh, you can really spend a lot of time uh, creating uh, upgrading your character with a, a lot of parameters, oh, nice. but um, uh, at the same time, it's very easy to pick up and play. So um, uh, you can grab the pad, and uh, if a, a, a friend wants to join and he's never played tennis before, it's basically a bit like FIFA. You know, you can play FIFA; it's really, really easy. But um, if you want to really go far, uh, far in the career, it takes a lot of time and a, a lot of um, a lot of. Um, yeah, so there's I tons of hours in this tennis game for people to be. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. awesome. So you're not gonna be able to master it as soon as you pick it up. Mm. So we we have a uh, a full career mode, which is gonna be uh, uh, very dense, and we want to let the player uh, live the life of a, a real pro tennis player. Uh, and um, also, I, I can't reveal too much right now because there are still a lot of things to uh, uh, to do in the game. But um, uh, we we're going to show the the players what the pro players do when they're not playing tennis. Oh, oh okay. a little sneak peek nice into their lives. Yeah. yeah. Now, I noticed here when the, and just the animation that we're seeing, there's different types of courts. Will you guys, because I know obviously in tennis there are like three major different courts that you can play on. Will they all be playable in the game? Yeah, you, we, we, uh, we'll have uh, grass, uh, we'll have clay, uh, we'll have uh, hard surfaces, and they all play um, uh, a great role in how the, how the ball works, the, uh, the, the physics of the ball is different. Um, the, the 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 speed of the ball, the bouncing, the spin also changes, and um, it goes as far as um, the, the the location and even the altitude of the location acts on the the physics of the ball. 
Uh, it also um, acts on the uh, on the stamina of the players. So it's uh, it's really dense. We uh, we try to put a lot of parameters to to give the player the the, the, the sensation that he's really playing tennis with the, uh, the real physics and the real outcomes uh, of. Uh, uh, the physicality of the sport that was really uh, important for us. Now, this is what the the meter that we're seeing is that they're how hard they're hitting the ball, or is that? that that's the the charge. Uh, you mean the the, the little the little uh, meter that comes up? Yeah, that that th th that's the charge. In fact, you um, uh, what plays a great role in the in the game is um, uh, how you um, you choose to uh, to take um, uh, um, uh, to. Uh, to, to, to hit the ball um, in, in the hard way or not, if you're charging or not, if you're taking risks, uh, where you place yourself on the play field, uh, how you, uh, you you choose to, um, what, uh, the, the choice of, um, of spin and um, uh, of swing you make, this is going to be very important for, uh, for the success of the game. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. <laughs> Full career mode, over 30 players, real physics, tons yep. of mocap. Finally yeah. got a tennis game coming to PlayStation 4. Awesome. It's very, very Absolutely. exciting. So when uh, can PlayStation fans get their hands on this tennis game? It's going to be released around May uh, next year. All right. May. May. All right. Release so, date. Yeah. Got Woo. a release date. All right. Well, Etienne, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks really for receiving me. Thank you for finally bringing a tennis game uh, to the PS4. My pleasure. So check out Tennis World Tour, which will be coming May 2018. Stick around. we got a lot more here at PlayStation Experience. PlayStation.